actually wanted to make a little birthday card for my son and I thought I would just read it into a YouTube video can probably help anybody if they have ears to hear so Jesus needed a man to help him carry his cross King David as a child fought for God's honor and killed a giant Joseph resisted temptation on every turn after he was thrown in a well by his jealous brothers and he did well everywhere he turned why only one reason he cared for his father's honor Ruth cared for Naomi she said where you go I'll go my people will be your people and nothing but de death will part me from you she retained God's honor and was greatly blessed Esther did the same thing so did Abigail on and on the story goes so did Abel Jesus said he who honors me him will my father honor Ephesians 6 2 says honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with promise the promises of God go on and on and on for those who honor all men I would put it I'll put all of first Peter 2 here for you your son to read but I'll leave it for you to do one thing that really <clears throat> stood out to me though however was honor all men love the brotherhood honor the king again the whole thing is so appropriate for you and your life most people you will ever meet will live for their own pleasures their own happiness their own greed and their selfishness proverbs 20 verse 6 says most men will proclaim each man his own goodness but who can find a faithful man 1 Samuel 18 1 says as soon as he had finished speaking to Saul the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as his own soul you are a strong joint and ligament in a greater whole providing what others need <clears throat> and the songs of salvation that have come through who you are are the most glorious <laughs> songs and I can't even put any words in this birthday note to how powerful that is the songs that you sing they're found on YouTube if anybody wants to hear them I have a playlist on this channel so <clears throat> revelations 5 9 says and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof and thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation even to do good and communicate to talk to the one teaching you we have a little interruption but with your dear sons over there right so <laughs> back to revelations 5 and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us to god by by your blood out of every kindred tongue and people and nation even to do good and communicate to talk to the one teaching you that sacrifice that's well pleasing to god is a sacrifice few people are actually willing to make. In this last year, I've watched the most incredible thing I think I've about ever seen. It's been so extremely moving. I watched a man of honor interacting with another man of honor. And they both honored the king together your love for the one sent to you the father sent to you and his love for the son sent to him is is unbelievable to watch all i can say about that is holy 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 is the lord the heavens and earth are full of your glory i feel very honored by god for the children he's given me and the blessing of watching your children honor the king is a blessing beyond words you would think as your song says bread upon the water that you would only have one life to live one destiny to lead but you've led another instead there was once a poor woman with a son and you know what I'm gonna switch this out till later sorry first Timothy 2 18 says servants be subject to your masters with all fear with honor towards God, not only for the good and the gentle, but also to the forward. For this is thankworthy if a man for conscience towards God endures grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it when you be buffeted for your faults, if you take it patiently? But if when you do well and suffer for it, and you take it patiently, this is what's acceptable with God. 
The, sto the stories of the Old Testament have a way of becoming alive and living on in the lives of others. It's all been done before, just like your song says, right? <laughs> I was going to make breakfast for a man of God one day I barely knew. I didn't realize I only had $20 to my name to feed my children for one week. I began praying and I did a Bible bingo and opened the book of life to this story, the story I'm about to read, and it became alive in my life. There once was a poor woman with a son, a man sent from God came to her. Instead of eating her last meal with her son and dying, she fed the man of God instead and her oil never ran out. And I bet her son's oil never ran out either. You possess a rare quality in this world of fear we're living in. You have the faith to love, and there's no greater way for anyone to honor the Father than to love the Father they don't see in heaven is by loving the ones they do see. Having the faith to love those people you do see in a world of many that are offended is a, is a rare thing. Thing. Again, Jesus said, he who honors me, him will my father honor. And watching you grow in your love and faith and your honor for God is really pretty mind-blowing. And I love you very much. Happy birthday.